Yeah, just when you thought it was safe to go back into the bee yard, one of our hives, as you can see, is apparently swarming. We are keeping an eye on it and to see where they go. Hopefully they won't go far and we can pick them up and put them back in the hive. But yeah, it's a beautiful spring-like day here and the scent of honey in there that they've got, they're taking with them, is really strong in the air. So we've tracked them down onto this bush, as you can see. And now I'm going to take a short shot and then help in trying to collect them. And we're looking for the queen. We've got our box there and they are clustering in the back of the box. And we're trying to find out where the queen might be. It's an adventure in beekeeping. All right, so all week we've had spring-like weather, but the, the nights are, are still pretty cold for around here. Uh, so it's the big deciding time to expand or not to expand. And since the nights are cold and they provide their very own heating and cooling systems, I've been postponing expanding the hives with the risk of exactly what you see happening here, a swarm. Now, now just because these are bees, this was, this was not from a swarm from the colony that I expected a swarm. <laughs> It, it, this, not the swarm took me by surprise, but the colony from which it emanated. We're not far, we're only about 500 meters, less than 500 meters from, from their origination site. And uh, we've calmed the neighbors, thank you Dave, and uh, hopefully we're going to get them relocated. We've got a home prepared for them back near their origination point, but not too close. And uh, we'll see what happens. This I spent 10 minutes this morning crafting an email to my mentor, Zaria Lupo, saying, hey, what would you do in this situation? So as you can see, we've got the queen in the box, and you can see they're all starting to flow into the box. They're walking up the cliff, and they are going into the cardboard box where the queen is, which is a great sign. And uh, they're cleaning up. There was a whole bunch right in front of me here, and they've since gone up the cliffside, and they're marching into the box. So this is a great sign. So hopefully we'll have this cleaned up and get them back into their expanded split-level <laughs> suburban home <laughs> in the coming hour. And this is only about uh, about 100, 200 feet away from where the hives are. So they didn't go far, and luckily they didn't go to the top of a cypress tree or someone's eaves they, on their roof, like the house above us. accessible. Very accessible. So we can get them, and here they are all going into the box, which is really encouraging. So hopefully we'll have a happy ending to this. Stay tuned for coming episodes of Beekeeping with Dave and Miri for Neshika. So here we are again in the neighbor's house, neighbor's yard, two houses over, where we had a giant, big part of the swarm here, and we've been shaking them into this box here. Yep. And here they come. We believe that some pheromones from the queen remain on the tree, on the tree so the bees are still c collecting here, but the queen herself is in the box. Help. We hope. Well, they all seem pretty happy and calm right there in the box. Um, uh, something we might want to do, Dave, is get the other box and bring it down here. Mm -hmm. um, and if it smells like someone they recognize, they may go into that box. But, um, I know she's concerned about 